Hey, mister. Hello there. Uh, hey there, partner. Hello there. For Christ's sake. Can't see my own belt buckle in this fall. Hey, mister. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hey, hey you! You ain't supposed to be here. That's right, you ain't want trouble with me. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? Kids, the only ones you're safe in Sultan, huh? Go get your thrill out of bullying someone else. Yeah, you, you dope. Stay calm. I'm gonna get out of your sight. Someone, please help. Hey there. Hi, uh, folks. That's what looks can be expected. How's things? I'm in a terrible state, to be sure. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. The 
Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Con i soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman, <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's are gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. 
must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. God damn it! This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'll go first. You stay close. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word. Hope Dutch is enjoying his brandy and cigars. Hey, did you hear that? Keep going. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. Time comes, Arthur. Make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. What? Hey, wait a sec. Shush. Quiet. Hey, hey. Stop. Shush. Hold on. Wait. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Our friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. 
You should get yourself home. around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can... We can go back to Bronte empty head. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Probably grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Show for it, Arthur. Come on, let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. There might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. 
Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side.
It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said. See where we're at once we got Jack. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, you took your time. Jack! Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Everything. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Hey, 
Hey, uh, hey, scared. how about a song? <laughs> Play us away. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Un par de ojitos negros sí, sí, y un cielito lindo de contrabando. De una sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. Cantando colores, porque cantando se alegra. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los Lágrimas vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Yo soy como el coyotito que los revuelco y los dejo y me voy al trotecito mirando por debajo. I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Hey, Lenny. Miss Jones. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Say, hey, Arthur, have a little faith. Here you are. tell you boys about the time I was hanged. <laughs> oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing. Something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, the someone I never saw, he shot the rope clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs>
I jumped in bed beside myself in a warm, singing homeboy blues. Where I want to be, homeboy, with the girl on either knee, with that little ribbon, cat on that coat and navy blue, Latin climb the rigging. He rumbled me, he tumbled me, he screwed me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath, I got no sleep at all. He up me and he down me and he caught me out and in. He fucked me black and blue. It was a You mean like a normal early in the morning before the rest of the day? He handed me a I'd yeah, apologize, but don't feel like it. <laughs> if it be a daughter, nap the darling on your knee. And if it be a son, send the bastard off to sea. With that little ribbon tucked and having that coat and navy blue. Let him climb the rig and let his daddy climb up. Oh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself, Dan. Javier. <laughs> Hola. Hello. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. <laughs> just save some for the rest of us. Are you okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. Oh. 
See? See? What I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. Here's a plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on! We are gonna be free! Free! Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss! Too right, Dutch! Just back off, will you? My coffee, I bowl without being drowned. Please, I need some sleep. I wash in a pool and I wipe on a sack. I carry my wardrobe all on my back. For want of an oven, I cook bread in a pot. And I sleep on the ground for want of a cot. Ceilings the sky. It's the low rim of my shiny white ass. <laughs> my books are guns, my sermons the stones. My parson's a wolf on his pulpit of bones. I sometimes rob a bank on Main Street. Can't believe me but show me a man sweet. favors those who look out for their own. I know the problem with you, Pearson, is that you're just a goddamn drunk. <laughs> Is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. All talk, huh? <laughs> Shit. Stop acting like a drunken idiot.
increasing, our race is almost run. traps are done. Oh, the days of elk and buffalo, it fills my heart with pain. To know those days are past and gone, to never come again. We fought against the Redskins.